OG's high school football highlights. Oak Hills in a must-win situation at Apple Valley. Mention OG's online highlights and receive 20% off your order at OG's in Apple Valley. Oak Hills, knowing a second league loss would mean probable elimination from the playoffs. Apple Valley riding a five-game winning streak. It comes down to big plays by the Bulldogs, touchdowns from long distance, scoring plays from 76, 67, and 80 yards. For the Sun Devils, crucial second-half turnovers, denying them opportunities to get back into the ball game. Apple Valley's opening possession, free safety, Raymond Agaric throws a wrench into the Sun Devils' advance, throwing D'Angelo Guillory for a loss. Then it's Tristan Coddington with the sack, and the Oak Hills offense is about to go on the attack. The first Oak Hills big play, third and long from their 24. Junior quarterback Nolan Brammer launches one, and six-foot senior wide receiver Ryan McLean wins the battle for the deep ball against Jacob Munoz and outruns Dwight Williams. Four minutes in, seven nothing Oak Hills. Coddington and company trip up the second Sun Devils drive. It's three and out, and on the punt, Gino Mestranda runs it all the way back, but it's called back. This Bulldogs march includes this Brammer to Tom Anderson connection. But both teams' defense dictate the course of action until the first play of the second quarter. From their own 33, Mastandra is off to the races. 14 to nothing, Oak Hills. The Sun Devils respond with their scoring drive, D'Angela Guillory for the first down. Justin Connors rolls right, hits Mason Kelly. First down, Sun Devils. A face mask penalty gives the Sun Devils first down to the 10. Third and goal at the 8. Connors to Brandon Mapstead. And Apple Valley is on the board. 747 remains in the first half. The missed extra point keeps it an 8-point lead for the visitors. Oak Hills will embark on a pair of time-consuming drives back into Sun Devils territory. Brammer to McLean. Brammer would complete 10 passes on the night for 345 yards. Brammer to Jeremiah Lorick with an excellent catch and run. But defensive plays like this applied the brakes to Oak Hills on this drive. Mike Cashin with the slicing tackle. And on the next Bulldogs possession, cash on again, this time with the sack. A Bulldogs field goal attempt fails as the first half ends. At the half, Oak Hills 14, Apple Valley 6. Both defenses came out the second half with adjustments. 295 pound Dylan Jennings on Apple Valley's first play of the third quarter. But D'Angelo Guillory and company keep this drive going. Guillory with the strong run for a first down. And coach Frank Police gambles, going for it on fourth and long. And Nick Schultz makes the catch. Brilliant footwork to stay in bounds for the reception. The Bulldogs defense rallies, Kennedy Amisabe leading tacklers, and an Apple Valley field goal attempt will miss fire. 
Following a three and out for Oak Hills, Connors puts the Sun Devils back on the track with back-to-back -back games in an improvised running attack. Two plays later, a key play in the contest. Connors goes for favorite receiver Brandon Mapstead, but the ball is pulled out of the air by Raymond Agaric, and the Sun Devils have committed their first of two huge turnovers. Oak Hills capitalizes the scoring drive of 65 yards, ignited by this final play of the third quarter, third and long, Brammer to Tommy Anderson. First down at the 11 to open the fourth. On second down, Brammer to Nick Wilson, just shy of the end zone, but good for first and goal. Two plays later, Mistandria for the touchdown, 21-6, Bulldogs. Apple Valley responds with a sustained drive that will carry them deep into Bulldogs territory, into the red zone, in fact. Gerald Williams with second and third effort. Connors to Mapstead, first and goal at the six. Two plays later, loose ball, and the Sun Devils lose the ball. Oak Hills recovers in the end zone. Apple Valley does not recover from the turnover of events, and the Bulldogs are about to put it away. On third and 10 from the 20, Mistandra has taken the short pass from Brammer. Mistandra weaves his way through the Sun Devil secondary and sprints the 80 yards to pay dirt. The 5'9", 150 pound junior finishes with three touchdowns and 263 yards combined, rushing and pass receiving. Any one of the touchdowns stand out most? Uh, no, sir. They're all dedicated, especially to my boy Fletch tonight. You know, he's down, he's, he's one of my brothers. And I dedicate everything I did tonight to him. Apple Valley made a habit this season of having its defense lead the way, creating takeaways that put its offense in position to score. On this night, they had their chances, but the ball didn't bounce their way. Mason Kelly's hit creates the loose ball, but the Bulldogs recover. There will be big plays for the Sun Devils. Eddie Morales with the sack here but no takeaways for the Sun Devils defense this game. For the Sun Devils to make the playoffs, upsetting Serrano, November 8th, now looms imminent. The game critical for Oak Hills, coming off their loss to Serrano and recovering from the loss of leading ground gainer, DeJonacy Fletcher. What was it like in preparation this week? Make or break it? No, oh, yeah, make or break it. We're go home. Because if we lose, we there's more more things than not that we wouldn't make the playoff. And we knew we had to bounce, bounce back from a, a hard loss with our uh, running back number 20 Fletcher coming going down and losing to Serrano right there. We had to bounce back and show that we we're still the team that we are and we're okay with it. It wasn't making a break again because if we would have lost, we would um, we would have had the hopes Serrano lost and just a bunch of other teams lost. But if that wouldn't happen, we'd just been a um, at a at large team and we'd have to play the wild card team. A lot of poise demonstrated out there. Did you feel like or did the offensive game plan rely more on the pass tonight or was it just what happened when things opened up? It just happened when things opened up. We're, we wanted to establish our run, but that didn't happen early, so we had to go to there. But I give thanks to our linemen, but without them, we can't do anything. But hey, number seven, our running back, Gino Masendra, ran the hell of the ball. He ran, he ran good. So uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. Did you feel like 
you think you were going to have to count on big plays tonight to win this one? Uh, no, I trusted my team tonight. I knew we were going to, we had our we had our downfalls, and I knew we were going to come through, and we were just going to play good and finish off the game. High school football highlights presented by OGs, the great getting together place. Get 20% off your order at OGs in Apple Valley by mentioning OGs online highlights. Some restrictions apply.